Welcome back, champions. Another mind-boggling stock news. Toward the end of 2023, the economy started showing signs of stabilization and easing inflationary pressure as the Fed finally decided to keep interest rates unchanged. This is likely to benefit generic drug makers like Amphistar Pharmaceuticals, Teva Pharmaceutical and Dr. Reddy's Laboratories, who can potentially benefit from declining costs in the long run. These drug makers are also focusing on new product launches or existing products with high gross margins to support their top and the bottom line. To expand market share further, generic drug makers have also started exploring strategic collaboration with regional and global players. Medical generic drugs industry has outperformed the broader medical sector in the S&P 500 index in the past year. The industry has risen 27.4% over this period compared with the broader sector's 0.3% growth. Meanwhile, the S&P 500 has risen 20.3% in the said time frame. Here are three generic drug stocks to keep an eye on in 2024. Number 1. Amphistar. The company develops, manufactures, and markets generic and proprietary injectable, inhalation, and intranasal products, as well as an insulin-active pharmaceutical ingredient. The company is focused on expanding its portfolio of generics and biosimilars. As of SEP 2023 end, the company has three generic drugs under review with the FDA. It is also developing three biosimilar and six generic drugs with significant market opportunities. The company is also focused on selling higher margin products, including new product launches of vasopressin and Ganarelix. Following the discontinuation of branded glucagon products by competitors Lilly and Novo Nordisk in 2022, Amphistar more than doubled the sale of its glucagon products in the first nine months of 2023. The stock has surged 78.7% in the past year. The consensus estimate for 2024 earnings has increased from $3.72 to $3.77 per share in the past 60 days. Number 2. Teva Teva is the world's largest generic drug company in total and has new prescriptions. The company is seeing the continued growth of its new branded drug, Ostito's prescriptions and market share growth for another newer medicine, Ajovi. Generic revenues are improving in Europe and international markets. Teva is currently focused on saving costs and improving margins through the optimization of operations for efficiency while also lowering the debt on its balance sheet. The company might register better growth in a few years with improving operational efficiencies and significant debt reduction. The company expects to achieve gross margins of up to 67% in the long term. The consensus estimate for 2024 has remained consistent at $2.39 per share in the past 60 days. The stock has risen 17.4% in the past year. Number 3. Dr. Reddy's Laboratories the India-based company enjoys a strong position in the U.S. generics market. Dr. Reddy's also markets its products in countries like the U.K., Germany, Russia, Venezuela, Romania, and South Africa. To ensure steady growth in these markets, management is focused on accelerating the development of its complex generics portfolio. Ardwai is also making efforts to ensure that the approvals come in time through appropriate risk management and proactive measures to deal with possible deficiencies. As of SEP 2023 end, cumulatively, 79 generic filings were pending approval from the FDA. The consensus estimate for the fiscal 2025 earnings has dropped from earnings per share of $4.09 to $4.07 in the past 60 days. The stock has gained 34.3% in the past year. Which amongst these three stocks are you going to invest in? Let us know in the comments.